Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a video for y'all today on the Tarte Man Eater After Dark palette. So fun. I thought that I would just do a whole video on this palette because I feel like it deserves it. So we're gonna be looking at um, packaging. We'll chat about price. We'll look at swatches. I'll chat about the formula of these shadows. Let you know my overall thoughts and impressions on it. And then also do this eye look on camera for you guys. So yeah, if you are new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, reviews, get ready with me's, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about the Man Eater After Dark palette, so let's get to it. So starting with pricing and packaging, the price of this palette is $52, so it's definitely a higher end palette. I really don't purchase that many high end palettes anymore here and there, but just not like I used to. Um, I still think they're beautiful and so fun, but Tarte is definitely one that I'm usually kind of drawn to because I really, really like their shadow formula and I'm always really happy with their palette. So this one definitely caught my eye, made me want to purchase it. So I ended up getting it. Here is the outside packaging on it. I like that it shows all the colors. That's really convenient. And then here is the palette itself. So pretty. I love the animal print. That is adorable. The back is this kind of reflective gold sort of a look to it. The one thing about the packaging, this is fancy and nice. It is that magnetic sort of closure, but I'm kind of afraid I'm always going to gouge one of these shadows when I'm trying to open it. So I would have been totally fine with the traditional just kind of open it sort of packaging to it. I like how sleek it is though. It's a very kind of thin palette, so it's not chunky and clunky and taking up a bunch of space. So I really like that about it. Here is the color story in here. It's got a nice big mirror. This is beautiful. Lots of different kind of warm toned color options in here, but you do have some cool tones. So there are some of those as well, which is really fun. So really kind of a mix of both. Great mix of mattes, metallic -y shades, um, these kind of shadows that are very metallic, and then these that are a little bit more kind of sparkly and light catching. So you've got some different sort of textures of shadows in here that really make some beautiful eye looks. Love the color story, love the packaging. And then swatches. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at these. The mattes are pigmented, the metallics are super light catching and reflective and just gorgeous. So no complaints on pigmentation. It's definitely there. These are some beautiful, beautiful shadows. And then formula. I find the mattes to be blendable, pigmented, easy to work with. I actually, I don't know if it's just me. Let me know if you have this palette and then if you have, if you have other Tarte palettes and shadows, what do you think? I feel like the, this, these don't seem quite as soft to me. I don't know. And I'm blending them. They don't seem quite as soft. Um, and that's not like necessarily a positive or a negative for me. I just find it to be different, slightly different. Um, still a big fan of all their shadows really that I've tried from Tarte. I'm usually always a fan of them. So the mattes are really nice and pigmented and blendable. And then these are nice and reflective and beautiful. These shadows have a really interesting texture to them. When you swatch them, they almost have this kind of like almost tacky sort of a feeling to them. I don't know how to describe it, but I think that's what makes them adhere to the lids really well, build on themselves really nicely and just look so light catching and reflective and so, so beautiful. So I'm a big fan of the color selection in here, the formula of these shadows and how pigmented they are. So overall thoughts on this palette, I'm a huge fan. I think this is beautiful. I really think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this palette. I have no complaints to it. I mean, other than maybe like the closure on it would be my one thing I would change about it. Other than that, I'm a huge fan. I think this is gorgeous. So now we're gonna get into this look. Okay, so I've already applied some eyeshadow primer and set that with just a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna start with some of Enamored and put this into my crease and transition area. I'm gonna kind of just lightly bring it on my lid as well. Then this shade, Desire, so beautiful. Gotta use some of that. I'm just using a really tiny crease brush. I'm gonna put this in my crease, kind of in the same area as the other, just sort of getting this color all in that area. I love these kind of mustardy yellow colors, so pretty. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Alluring, this beautiful kind of warm, I don't know, 
chestnut brown kind of a color. I'll put this right in the outer corner and blend just to give a little bit more dimension. Next, I'm going to take some of Heated with my finger and apply this onto my lid. That is such a pretty color. It's got this kind of like fiery sort of a look to it, like a like a burnt orange. So pretty, a lot of dimension to it. Okay, then I'm gonna take some of Heartbreaker and use it with a little bit of setting spray on kind of the inner part of my lid. Ooh, such a pretty color. Now I'm gonna apply some liner and mascara. I'm gonna use my Rimmel Scandalize in the brown shade and then also my It Cosmetic Superhero. So I'm gonna apply those and I'll be right back. Then lower lash line, I'm gonna do a little combo of Enamored and Desire. Just a little tiny bit of both of those. And I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of Passion on the outer half or so. Okay, and then to finish off the makeup look for blush, I'm going to use the Almay Nearly Nude. I love these blushes. The Healthy Hue Blush in Nearly Nude. And for lips, I'm going to use this combo. The LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Cafe. And then the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. Okay, guys, so here is the finished look. I am really happy with this palette. I think it is just beautiful. Lots of different options in here, different um, color options, but also different kind of finish options, which really make for a beautiful eye look. I especially love these particular colors. I think it's really good. I'm very happy with the palette. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you think about this palette. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.